And then granted, I, anything I've said to you, I would defend on the record. Yeah. I don't think I've said anything wrong. Yeah. I don't think I've said anything wrong. Hi, I'm James O'Keefe with Project Veritas. Jimmy Carr is an associate producer with CNN's morning show, New Day. Our releases about him and others last week exposed CNN's bias and radical fake news agenda. In a subsequent meeting with Carr, he doubled down about his statements and other anti-Trump comments. I just can't believe the, the arrogance of these people. I had, a moment, I had a moment of panic because on Sunday night, I met them on a Friday, on Sunday night, this anti-CNN advocacy guy released a bunch of tapes of him. Okay, so the, 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 the Nothing Burger thing came from a guy who secretly recorded his conversations with a CNN employee. Who did that? Just this right-wing advocate. Hitler? Guy. Hitler use? <laughs> But a guy who hated CNN and was pro-Trump and wanted to expose CNN's lies. And he had met a guy and talked to them about CNN's coverage and recorded it secretly. And released it at... When was this? It was on Sunday night, Monday morning. And it came out and we were all going, holy shit, how is this guy so stupid? He's talking to everyone and telling, saying X, Y, and Z about CNN. But then I went to there and went, well, I talked to a couple of guys at a bar on Friday afternoon and I said things that we wouldn't normally say. I mean, granted, I, anything I've said to you, I would defend on the record. Yeah. I don't think I've said anything wrong. How did they record it? The guy that had his phone on in his pocket. But so he was just talking to. But so he was just talking to a guy. No, it was it was a secret recording. He had his phone, voice recording in his pocket, talking to him, talking about, hey, don't you think CNN's coverage is a little ridiculous right now? And this employee said, well, yeah, I think it's over the top, and right now it's kind of bullshit. But I mean, that became the subject of three opening monologues on Fox News evening show. And I had the thought of literally... I wonder I, I missed it. I'm not bullshitting you. I literally went, holy shit, I hope those two guys that I met weren't trying to fuck with me and record me. I mean, granted, I, anything I've said to you, I would defend on the record. Yeah. I don't think I've said anything wrong. We all recognize he is a clown, that he is hilariously un unqualified for this, that he's really bad at this, and that he does not have America's best interests. We recognize it's just fucking crazy. Would it be fair to question the intellect of the American voter? Oh this? no, they're stupid as shit. Like, I hate to be this with <laughs> Sorry, Billy? Ann Conway. What's she look like? The, is she the one with she the... She looks like she got hit with a shovel. She looks like she got hit with a shovel. Carr also let it slip that he and his co-workers are not exactly fans of their anchor, Chris Cuomo. I don't have the, but I don't have the gravitas, so I thought it was I, I, I also don't have the brother who's the governor. So. Yes, Chris Cuomo is Andrew Cuomo's brother, the governor of New York. Well, there, that's, the, that's the gravitas. I've been sat I've last for what, an hour and a half listening to you. You're extremely intelligent. You're very well spoken. Um, I think you're far better presenter than Chris Cuomo. This is how you present the issue. I totally disagree with you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not drunk. I, can't, I, one I cannot technically say anything, but I can simply say that there's a lot of us that spend a lot of time in the newsroom criticizing just the same things. Just the what? The same points. Yeah, I, I, I just can't stand I, the hell out of it. It's We're like, shut up. Chris Cuomo. After our video last week, New Day anchor Allison Camerata sent an email to the panelist who she suspected leaked the new audio of the selectively edited video CNN released. She seemed to be expressing some level of anger about the leak. We believe that Jimmy Carr, John Bonifield, and Van Jones are just telling the truth about what's going on inside CNN newsrooms across the country. It's a toxic culture of anti-Trump bashing, ratings grabbing, and just plain lazy journalism. And in light of today's CNN video blackmail scandal, they'll have to raise their standards if they have any chance of regaining trust with the American people. Balance your journalism, stop reporting fake news, work a little harder, and maybe, just maybe, you'll have a chance to save yourselves.